Hey there guys, how are you all doing? Today I'm back with another tutorial, and this one is going to be about mobile phone games. So I currently own the Android module only, I don't have the iOS export yet, but when I do I will certainly do a tutorial on that one as well. But first I'm going to be doing this one. So I've made three little games for you. The first one is going to show up in just a minute. And there it is, these uh, are some blocks. You can tap these on your mobile phone, I tested it already, it works great. And what happens when you press uh, one of these little squares? I know if you can hear this. This is just a minor test. If you want to download this one and export it to an APK, or I might just uh, add the APK to the download folder in the description below. You can download this on your Android phone and just mess around with this one. Well, that was the first one. The second one I created was this little onslaught game. What you do is you tap this button here, and you tap wherever on the screen you would want this little turret to go, and then you click confirm, or uh, tap if you will. So what happens, these guys will spawn, and then you shoot them with the lasers. This also works on your mobile phone, just just as well as the previous one did it's just a little tutorial it's, it's it's very basic you can add as much as many turrets as you want to this game but let's go to the most interesting one the next one is this little 3d game when you tap the right side on the screen the car will turn right and vice versa when you tap the, the tap the left side of the screen the car will turn left so yeah this works on the mobile phone as well but as you can see uh, the, the resolution is very low the textures are only one pixel Actually, basically, uh, the van is the largest texture in this entire game. The road texture is 2x2 two two pixels, so that's that's nothing. And you gotta code efficiently when you're making mobile games, because, yeah, you know, mobile phones just aren't as powerful as PCs are. Well, those were the games that I've created for you guys, so let's get on with the tutorial. And, as usual, my mouse cursor has disappeared. And it's kind of back... It's flickering on my screen. Sprites, I'm not going to be showing you all of these, I'm sorry. Not this time. Here they are. Just check them out if you want. Here are the guitar sounds. And the textures, I'm going to show you how big this grass texture is. As you can see, it's just this little block. And it's just one pixel uh, wide and one pixel high. It's, it's just nothing. Well, and one path for the enemies of the Onslaught game. And then go over to the objects. Well, one of the most interesting thing about this entire tutorial is that I'm not using the mouse X functions like this, but rather device mouse X. And why am I using this one? Because when you use, uh, for example, the zero, it means that the, you can only use uh, your first finger on your screen. For example, you do one, you can have a second finger on your screen. And that's why I'm using the device. Uh, functions of game maker as you see i'm using it everywhere device mouse check button and uh, well that's it for this one that's how i'm using that's why i'm using the uh, device mouse buttons instead same goes for this one device mouse check button pressed device mouse x device mouse button check check button rather device mouse yeah you get the point I don't know if it goes for this one as well. No, it doesn't. This is just the onslaught uh, AI. And here it is again: device, mouse, X, device, mouse. Lots of devices. Well, I really think you get the point by now. I'm using this everywhere. I might be clicking. Yeah, there we go. I might be clicking on the wrong side because my mouse cursor has disappeared once again. So yeah, that's uh, how that works. That's how I did that. And for the 3D game goes this. The uh, the model of the van is being loaded here. And when the device mouse button checks a uh, your your just your finger, your taps, on the right side of the screen, the car will turn right. And when you tap the left side, the car will turn left. Well, there's uh, a few things that you might want to use instead of these uh, functions. For example, if you want to do tilting, 
you just add this device get tilt x which is um well how do you say that just we might just look it up right here so um tilt maybe our device get tilt for example this one up or down is the z this is y and when you hold your phone vertically you can tilt it either left or right and that's the x axis so this is really nice you can always just press f1 and you get this huge database which is just great it helped me out a lot and i wouldn't have been able to do these tutorials without it so yeah that's uh, how you use these uh, functions and if you want to be uh, if you want it to be a double tap instead of just a single tap you just have to change this left into right which basically means a double tap on your mobile phone of course because when you test it on the windows computer it's just a uh, a normal mouse click or right mouse click if you will so here are a few models just nothing interesting and i sk totally skipped the camera so i'm gonna take a quick look at that one d 3 d start you reset hidden you'll know these by now by all the uh, tutorials that i've done already and this is how the camera follows the player smoothly and uh, keep it 3d yeah this is very important this is what i almost forgot to mention if you start the game in 3d and just leave it in the create event the game will stop being 3d in the end so basically what you need to do is just keep this one in the step event of the camera otherwise the game will just uh, become 2d again and, and your game will look like uh, well shit i'm sorry but that's what that's just what happens it's just a, a glitch with game maker i think because it happens all the time when i'm trying to test a, a 3d game on android and yeah here's the uh, well the the projection code so yeah that was it if there's something i should have explained please leave it in the comments below i'll be eager to do another tutorial on this one if you guys like of course i can of course uh, also continue the 3d first person shooter tutorials if you want I can do whatever you like. I have a poll in the description below. Be sure to vote. And uh, yeah, that was it. I'll see you guys in the next video.